beyond just you, you being God and nobody else. It goes beyond to say that it is because of you that the race has a chance. Although everything is going to be redeemed anyway. That's prophesied. But you got to understand, in the form of the redemption of us going to the higher levels, the whole race being redeemed, there's a group of people that is sent down to be the helpers. And those group of people, if you don't get anything, the reason why shit is holding back is because the ones in consciousness do not understand it. You are those people. That's the deal. You see what I'm saying? So now, instead of feeling good about your career, and whether I made it, whether I got enough money, that's superficial shit, which is nothing anyway. Idiots have money. You see what I'm saying? Most, the most diabolical people in the world have so-called, quote-unquote, made it. But the most important people on the planet is the one that received this knowledge to get the people out of this shit, and that is you. Okay? And this is the key. We got to keep constantly reminding ourselves, and it's an ongoing process. You got to remind yourself every day that I am... The Christ, which is to come, which the Holy Kabbalah tell you that you are. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and start thinking like a God and all. So now, let's go on. A movie, another movie came out, Blue Skies, to show you the cult of America. A movie with Jessica Lange and Tommy Lee Jones. And the movie is dealing with, uh, they dropped some nuclear testing on, there was nuclear testing in the 50s or whatever. And they, they saw there was two people that was walking, two people that was farming out there on the horses, and they didn't tell the people to get out of the way, and they dropped the bomb anyway, and these people start coming out with all kind of stuff. So when Jessica Lane came out to tell the two people that the government is the one that is the reason for them coming down with all these ailments and this nuclear stuff, they said, and they said one thing in the movie, he said, no, uh, my government didn't say they did this. And until my government says that that's what happened, I have to believe what the government says. Or I can't believe that the government will do this. That's showing you that the brainwashing techniques in America. So it's interesting, so movies like these that come out, it, it, it's a small thing, but it's major things also too. Check? It's ma major things also too. Now, what is the deal? Now the new shit is the drugs and the CIA. All that is is a new plot, a plot to get you from thinking the other way. First of all, it's not the conscious people that knew this. Every fool from Alabama, Georgia, and down Mississippi knew that the government planted the drugs. Hell, I go to Mullins and people say, well, you know, we ain't, you know the whole thing. We ain't got no boats, no planes, and all. We've been saying that for 10 years. So everybody knew that the government is the one that planted the damn drugs in the community. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody knew this. They've had black, so-called, quote-unquote, black exploitation flicks that dealt with that. So why is it now, all of a sudden, we are so crazy until we couldn't take action 10 years ago. We got to wait till the white man validates it. Now, let's not be stupid with this mess. First of all, the government got shit that they did 100 years ago that you don't know about. Or you will find out 100 years later. And say, mm -mm -mm. It was bad how they dropped them smallpox on the Indians and all this kind of shit. So you know damn well if the government is the way they are, whereas they can kill everybody that even think, hell, they can... It, if, if a person comes up and breaks some news in the, in the newspaper, they can come in and jack that nigga up and put some, uh, 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 and, and put some electrodes under his balls and some razor blades up his ass, and he'll print a retraction the next day. So obviously, if this particular information is getting out where they, but they got information that will never get out. You understand what I'm saying? If this particular information is getting out where they put it on the news, and the news is run by the government, that means that the government is, is the one that is behind putting this information out. Now all the black bourgeoisie Negroes is running up to Washington, D.C. You see what I'm saying? And that's the reason why, oh, so, oh, so when you found out at the health, Farrakhan told them about that 10 years ago at Northwestern University, that the government is the number one funder of the government is damn dope. Any fool know this, but you mean to tell me, now here, here it is, this is the sickness of it, because it's all a test. You so sick that you can't damn stand up as grown people, as spiritual people and say, hell, we know the deal. Back in 1988, 1986, 1987, and 1990, when you finally realized the shit, we know the deal that you're the one that's putting it in. No, you got to wait till the damn white man documents it. And he always put the shit out. He always documents it 10 years too late. Too late now, you don't even know who. Hell, half the people could be dead. Hell, all the black people are already in jail. Half of them dead now. Half of them will never be no good. So it's not the object to. 
to, to, to come in and say, oh, we got the information now that they did this when the black, it's in the story. Hell, he done put your man in jail now and he's ruined for life. You see what I'm saying? But that's the way they do it. They always will come out with 10 year old news. So this is old shit that they come out with now and bring it up now and all the black people think, oh, this is the new shit. Oh, you heard about it 10 years ago, but now all of a sudden it's new on your mind because the white man said it in Life does not exist until the white man documented on his news for our people. So he brings it out now. Now why is he bringing it out now? He's bringing it out now to basically counter his new thing, which is black body snatching. Which is tons and tons, like I said before, uh, tons of projects around the country that closed down and you got black people in concentration camps. And as a result, we got at least 12 million black people in concentration camps. So to get you to stop thinking about that particular thing, he'll give you some old news about some crack and some shit that done happened, whereas they just disbanded Red Dog. They, crack basically is damn near gone compared to what crack was five years ago. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you still got a little bit of crack, but I'm trying to say the crack epidemic is basically all the big people in jail. So he'll give you the old news on an old project that was successful to you to keep you off of the new project, basically, which is actually old news, too. You see what I'm saying? But this is the project. He ain't got enough of you off the street yet because he's coming down to the black bourgeoisie next. So it's in the middle of this project. And so, boom, to keep people from finding out about it, he'll give you the old news about the crack cocaine of 10 years ago. And then it's, and actually come out and say, yeah, this is true. And he'll give you this to keep you off of what's going on now, which they're actually snatching your bodies. And the beautiful part about it is this. Now, all of a sudden, the I told you so's is coming rapidly. So we got it documented on tape. I came out about a month ago, two months ago, and told you that they was taking the homeless and taking the, the what you call it, you still heard it on the radio, and taking the, uh, close down all the projects. The spirit is showing you because now this is one of the greatest times to understand that the spirit is working for the simple dog on fact that the cracker in the middle of the conspiracy comes out with a movie Friday. The damn movie Extreme Measures. And he comes out with this movie Friday. And anybody, did anybody go see the movie yet? We went to see the movie yesterday. And the movie is all of that. Because they start out with the homeless people. So they put a little bit of white people up in there to throw you off. But then again, on the other hand, like I told you before, they're even doing this to pole crackers, too. You see what I'm saying? That's their tough luck. Fuck them. See what I'm saying? Damn a redneck. We ain't, we ain't getting no alliance with no beast and stuff. But here it is. This crazy nigga comes on the radio. And we're not talking about you because you're conscious. But we talking about the masses on the way we think. This crazy nigga on the radio talking about how they're putting people in concentration camps to do experiments. Right? To do experiments. So, all of a sudden, a month later, they come out with the actual movie called Extreme Measures. Where they show them taking the actual homeless. They say, well, why do you do the homeless? They say, because no, uh, why you do poor people? See, that's a cold word for niggas. You see what I'm saying? Why do you do poor people? Because nobody will miss them. You see what I'm saying? And they got this whole movie going on, so they'll give you the little technology about Paris Allegiant and all this type of stuff when you go see the movie. But the, basically, the movie, was, they can't tell you about the melatonin program. You see what I'm saying? About the melatonin program. But they will give you the information based on the information on what they actually will do. And they, was, and they had this whole thing going on in the movie. And you got to go see this movie. Go see the movie tomorrow. Go see it the matinee or whatever. But you got to go see the movie. Because now we're talking about they're actually documenting this stuff and it's in the movie. Do you know? Okay, so, well, you know, that's just a coincidence. It ain't no coincidence. Guess who wrote the movie? The movie was written by a medical doctor. I forgot the guy's name. I should have uh, uh, broke the guy's name. But I went and, and what happened was they have the little small paperback book out also too, which would give you eight times as much as the movie, the little $4 paperback book, Extreme Measures. 
Come to find out the movie is written by this particular doctor and Elizabeth Hurley, who is the woman that's, that's the boyfriend, the girlfriend to Hugh Grant, they decided to come in and she put the money up to produce it. Or either she put them, she came and, and knew a couple of people and you produce a movie, you, you don't use your own money, you just produce it, just go out and get money for the movie.